I haven't, my, like, my bed is a mess. Like, what is that? I need to at least do that up before I do anything. <laughs> about me but um so i just finished reading the book of ecclesiastes and the very last verse guys the very last verse it has 12 chapters chapter 12 verse 13 says now all has been heard here is the conclusion of the matter fear god and keep his commandments for this is the duty of all mankind for god will bring every deed into judgment including every hidden thing whether it is good or evil that's scary to think about that is very very scary to think about that everything that i've ever done in the secret where no one where no one but god is watching me including the things that i've hidden in my heart including the things that i've thought in my mind god sees and hears all of those all of that will be judged Okay? it's very scary to think and it's scary to start thinking okay i need to live this perfect life otherwise it's not it's not looking good for my soul to be honest then i thought no but shanaga remember that's the old testament and not that it's not relevant the old testament is very relevant but god sent jesus he sent yeshua hamashak which is the hebrew name um hebrew for jesus christ Yeshua Hamashiach, okay, Jesus Christ our Lord was sent because of that judgment, because yes, you know, the wages of sin is death, and that's the truth, there's no left, there's no right, that's just it, that's just what it is, the wages of sin is death, and yes, we will all be judged, but if we, the Bible says that without faith it's impossible to please God. says that faith comes by hearing hearing of the the word of god and when you hear the good news it's for you then to have the faith and believe that he sent you a savior that he sent me a savior that he sent us all a savior who is that savior that savior is jesus christ of nazareth yeshua hamashak and he has come to save us from that judgment because the wages of sin is death and we are all sinners the bible says that even our righteousness is like a filthy rag even when we think we're doing so good and we think okay i'm, I'm doing everything that the ten commandments says i'm supposed to do there's no way any one of us can fulfill the ten commandments but jesus did and he, but jesus could and he did and he came and did that for each and every one of us that we may not die but we may live he's not just talking about living on this earth physically but he's talking about the time when it comes for us to transition, basically to die, that rather than living in eternal damnation, death to me, in my mind, when I think about it in the Bible, basically is um, separation from God, separation from everything that is good, separation from happiness, separation from peace, separation from joy. That is what God is. Rather than us um, living that kind of life, he died that we may have an abundant life on, on, on earth, and then when we transition and when we're living with him god created this earth to dwell with humankind but because we're so sinful and because we're sinners that's what has separated us from god but jesus came to redeem us to redeem us from that sin that we have that we inherited and from the sin that we do the bible says that even from the womb we were estranged from the womb we were sinners from the womb we were sinners as babies as innocent as babies are they have inherited sin from their parents their grandparents their great-grandparents their great-great-great-grandparents this flesh has automatically inherited sin that's that's it no matter what okay but yeah so but we have been redeemed we have been redeemed we have been redeemed we have been redeemed so yes that last verse was scary and i was scared i was like oh my gosh god listen if i stand before you yeah i'm done for i'm done for i don't have a leg to stand on i cannot i cannot i'm not good i am not like do you get what i mean like let's be real and let's be honest none of us is good when it, in the eyes of god i don't care who you are i don't care how good you think you live i don't care there's some secret things in there that maybe no man could dig out but the bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked who can know it god knows it god sees and knows everything every subconscious thought okay human beings we're filthy we're actually filthy okay and 
I was just scared for a second. I was like, God, ah! Jesus, God, I won't be able to stand. I, I, I won't make it. I won't make it, Lord. I won't make it. I won't make it, you know. I wouldn't. But I'm like, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I believe that you died for me on the cross. I believe that you gave up your life for me. I believe that you was led like a lamb to the slaughter, okay, for me. That I can be able to, 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 to say, Lord, because of what you did for me, please remember me for good. Please, Lord, remember me for good. And as a believer, somebody that's been baptized twice, and I was baptized first in 2010, 10 years ago, I'm still trying to understand the revelation behind what Jesus Christ did for me. Because I feel like it's so huge, it's so big, it's so phenomenal that I'm still not getting it. I'm still not getting it. I feel like sometimes I'm still not getting, I'm not getting it, okay? I still feel like there's more for me to get. There's more for me to understand behind what Jesus really did for me. But I, 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 I get, I think I get it enough to know that I believe in it, you know? So without faith, it's impossible to please God. We have to believe that Jesus Christ, you did this for me. You died for me on the cross. You know, the devil is the accuser of the brethren. He's always going to and fro the earth, seeking for whom he will devour. And I'm coming saying this from crying earlier on. Like, I was sad. I was down. I was just, just thinking about some things in my life. And then, and I sat on my bed and after talking to God, I just picked up my Bible. And I started to read the book of Ecclesiastes. And it was just the best read like i was laughing i was like god you're so funny like like i was literally laughing with some of the scriptures i was just in my heart i was just like god you give me jokes <laughs> and i was enjoying it i was like if only people could if only we could read our bibles more and just enjoy being being you know just engrossed in god and you know yeah um we're all on this journey you know we're all i'm on my journey you're on your journey wherever you are in your journey know that yes it's, it's we can enjoy life but we will be judged on what we do but if we believe that jesus christ is our lord and savior we have been redeemed we have been salvaged from every curse of the law the law says if you cannot follow, follow the law the punishment is death but because of what jesus did he is the ultimate sacrifice. They used to make sacrifices all the time. Jesus is the ultimate sacrifice that did that for us. That said, no, 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 no. I'm doing this for you. That once you look upon me, once you believe in me, then you've been saved. Okay? The blood of Jesus Christ, there's power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Um, so, yeah, guys. Jesus is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. Um... Is it he's the life or he's the life? I'm not sure, but he is the life and he is the life. But I just felt to quickly put on my camera and quickly share this word with you guys. It's eight minutes long and I have no makeup on. I've brushed my teeth, I've washed my face, but I've not had a shower. And I just felt like, I don't know who's gonna be blessed by this. I don't know who needs to hear this word, but I just wanna share it with somebody. Um, my YouTube no more. I'm not thinking of my YouTube as, oh, I want to make money from YouTube no more. I'm like, no, because I'm not consistent enough. But whenever, by the grace of God, I turn on my camera and I share something, I hope that you're blessed by it. Anyway, I've got things to do, house to clean. But I feel like I just want to sit and just read the Bible some more and just be in his presence some more. That's what heaven is going to be like. And we won't have to think about, oh, I've got to go this, I've got to go, i got to go do this, I've got to do that. Like, it will be, we will be in his presence for eternity, eternal joy, eternal peace, eternal happiness, eternal. Do you get what I mean? Like, that's just so beautiful. And the Lord wants it for us all. He wants to be with us. He wants us to be with him forever, for eternity. He loves us so much. But if we choose to ignore his love and to ignore what he has for us, then he can't fight us and force us. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, guys, whatever you're doing, be blessed. Jesus loves you. God loves you. And yeah, take care, guys.